Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. On 21st April 2023, DRDO and Indian Navy had successfully conducted the median trial of BMD interceptor from a naval platform. While the name of naval platform was not revealed, it's most likely going to be none other than INS Anvesh. There are a few open source information according to which the INS Anvesh was observed heading towards Odisha on 21st April 2023 when the test was conducted. During the Indian Navy Day celebration, the Navy has publicly announced the induction of INS Anvesh, a missile range instrumentation ship which was previously known as DRDO TTV. It is India's first floating missile test range or FTR. An FTR is not only capable of tracking missile but can even launch and control missiles. INS Anvesh has been built by Cochin Shipyard and designed by DRDO. The ship has displacement of 11,300 tons and will be used to test missiles up to a range of 1,500 kilometers deep inside the Indian Ocean region. It will speed up the futuristic missile projects as it will provide a ready-made safety corridor without going through the tedious exercise of issuing no tamps to ships and aircraft flying in the area. While the Adu missile testing site at Wheeler Island of Odisha is under scanner of the adversaries, the FTR will allow discrete testing of missiles and torpedoes from 400 to 500 nautical miles into the sea. Now talking about INS and Waves feature, it is going to be equipped with electro-optical missile tracking, S-band radar tracking, telemetry devices apart from a launch pad mission control center for testing phase 2 of ballistic missile defense BMD interceptor missiles. In the image which you are seeing on the screen, it has two important elements. The first one is four SLS or ship launch system and LRMFR that is long range multifunctional radar. We are going to discuss about both of these components in detail as these are the most important ones. The four SLS will be installed under the deck and will be used for launching the AD series of interceptors such as AD-1 and AD-2 and other missiles. The launcher is made up of a special grade steel and manufactured completely in-house. The canister can articulate from 0 to 90 degrees within 2 minutes. Navy and DRDO has planned to use Anvesh as a test and launch platform for naval AD-2 interceptor missiles which means Navy will have AD-2 missile to defend itself from ballistic missile threat. The FTR will not only speed up the missile projects of DRDO but will also allow live testing of interceptor missiles for phase 2 of BMD program. On 2nd November, India has tested AD-1 missile for the first time which can intercept any missile of 500 km range. DRDO has already started working on AD-2 which will be able to intercept ballistic missile in exo-atmospheric region. The entire system of BMD including AD-1 and the high exo-atmospheric missile AD-2 will be ready by 2025. The ship is also reportedly integrated with dual panel long range multi-function radar or LR-MFR developed by DRDO. It is an equivalent of MF star radar of Israel which is integrated on the capital warships of Indian Navy. Like Elta MF star, it features octagonal face plates and range in excess of 500 km. The success of LR MFR will pave the way for its integration with upcoming capital warships of Indian Navy. With the commissioning of INS Anvesh, India has entered into the elite club of very few nations that operates a floating test range. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We will soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.